As you all may know, I am an English teacher, even though I'm not employed right now. But uh, when you're an English teacher, it's like being a Marine. You're never an ex-English teacher. You're never a retired English teacher, baby. If you're an English teacher, you're always an English teacher for life. And, uh, well, I don't have the, uh, the, the sort of uh, annoying affectations that a lot of English teachers do. I do have some annoying <laughs> affectations, but what good would I be as an English teacher? How could I, how could I truly, uh, uh, you know, be worth my salt as an English teacher if I didn't have certain annoying, nagging uh, uh, proclivities? And I'm going to, going to uh, uh, express two of those now. There's two things that. People say some common, very common usage errors that really bug the hell out of me. And they should. They should because I'm right and they're wrong. <laughs> so they should. So I'm, I'm completely justified in my feelings of, of outrage. Um, now, I would never, here's something that, you know, if if you if you're thinking of your English teacher correcting you, maybe you think of uh, when you say, uh, "Teacher, may I may I leave the classroom and and uh, and uh, go visit the uh, the facilities because my bladder is about to explode," and your teacher says, or or you say, uh, "Teacher, can I go visit the visit the facilities because my bladder is about to explode?" And your teacher says, "I don't know." Can you? And uh, you just say, what? I, I, I can't hold it anymore. And then you, you pee all over yourself and you're humiliated because you didn't know that you're supposed to say, may I? You're not saying, can I? It's may I. Uh, so I would never do that. But here are a couple things I'm calling foul on. Um, just think of me as the, um, as the angry umpire behind the plate. And every time somebody says, says this, I say, you're out of the game, um, in a really animated way. The, you know, the baseball umpires are the only, uh, well, I guess that they aren't the only ones, but they're, they're the, 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 uh, it's the sport where the, where the, uh, the referee or the umpire is allowed to have the, the most emotion, is allowed to express the most emotion in, in in his uh, 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 overall uh, delivery and uh, uh, you know movements and uh, and uh, just facial expressions and and everything, so I'm saying you're out of here, and you can see the anger because I've torn off my mask and my face is contorted with rage, and I'm saying you're out of here if you use one of these two, okay, and it's very simple. Very simple, okay? Number one, uh, you don't, don't say purposefully when you mean purposely, okay? Purposely means you did it on purpose. You purposely set off the fire alarm. You did not purposefully set off the fire alarm, all right? Purposeful means you move in a way that, that uh, uh, suggests or, or, or denotes a sense of purpose. So maybe you could, you could stride purposefully up to the fire alarm before you purposely uh, set the fire alarm. But, but purposeful is not purpose. Purposefully is not purposely. Um, so that's the first thing. The second thing, and this is even worse because it's far more common, but I, I like to put these these two together because they, they fit together. They kind of rhyme. Um, people say rightfully. What they mean is rightly. Rightly means correctly. People are angry about uh, the, the outrage that was perpetrated against them, and they are... And they are, and right, rightly so. That's what you say. You say, and rightly so. You don't say, 
people are angry uh, about being cheated out of $50,000 of their money, and rightfully so. No. You say rightly so. Right, they're, they're right to be angry. They're, they're uh, correct to be angry. It's appropriate for them to, to be angry. You don't say they they uh, uh, are uh, are rightfully angry. Rightful means uh, belonging to or, or um, uh, uh, like like you you talk about. Please return this back backpack to its rightful owner. Okay, rightful is not the same thing as right and rightfully is not the same thing as as rightly and usually when people say rightfully they mean rightly they mean correctly the man is rightly upset that someone punched him in the face for no reason he's not rightfully upset in fact i don't even i'm not sure if rightfully i know it I know it exists as an adverb, but I don't know if there's ever, ever a place where rightfully is the correct usage. I think almost always when people use rightfully, they mean rightly, because rightful, uh, the adjective rightful, just means, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, if if all if justice is done if if uh if uh all of the uh um you know all of the things that that need to be uh need to be satisfied in order for us to know that justice is done or or if all of those things have been fulfilled then uh it's it's rightful uh, again i i most often think of you know this this is the the that the the pencil uh please return the pencil to its rightful owner uh there are probably other ways to use it but i just can't think of them right now but i i do know that rightful is not the same thing as right as uh right okay and therefore rightfully is not the same same thing as rightly now I know I sound I might sound priggish, I might sound patronizing, uh, but I am right. I'm not rightful. I am right in what I'm saying. So in sum, don't say rightfully when you mean rightly, and don't say purposefully when you mean purposely. Got it? Good. Thanks for watching.